was born in Chicago, USA. He and his wife, a German woman, came to Vietnam when she was assigned to work at the German embassy in this country. Falling in love with Vietnam, Carl decided to settle down with his wife to build their own life and career here. Starting a business and being successful with real estate companies, but his great passion for cuisine, especially German cuisine, urged him to open the Kneiper restaurant in which he not only introduces the culture of his homeland and of Germany, but also creates a cozy multicultural exchange space for diners. For more than 20 years, Hanoi has been closely attached to him not only because of his work as a businessman, but also because it is the place that connects the culinary flavors and communities of three countries, Vietnam, German, and the US. Welcome to Station Vietnam, Chạm Vietnam, broadcast every Saturday on VTC10, and I'm your host, Thuy Quỳnh. So today, we are delighted to have a talk show with a very special guest. He is an American businessman who has been attached to Vietnam for over 20 years, and he has made many contributions to the culture of Vietnam. Please welcome to the show, Mr. Carl Fairchild. It's an honor to have you in our program today, and thank you so much for taking your time to join us. Thank you very much for inviting me to your TV program. Uh, my name is Carl Fairchild. I'm from the United States, and I've been living in Hanoi, Vietnam for the past 20 years now. You've been living in Vietnam for over 20 years. So what brought you to Vietnam and what motivates you to stay attached to Hanoi for such a long time? Mm -hmm. I was uh, married to a German lady who worked for the German Foreign Ministry, and she got posted in Hanoi at the German Embassy uh, in 2004 and that's what brought me to Vietnam and I really fell in love with Vietnam then and uh, started business and that's what's been keeping me here you know the people in the business you know. after over 20 years living in Vietnam and experiencing the culture here what do you love the most such as about the culture the nature or about the people of Vietnam or anything else what I really like about Hanoi is that it's seasonal uh, I'm from the Chicago area, so we have our seasons also, our winter and summer and fall, and, and that's what I love about Hanoi also, the seasons that they have here. Uh, I love the people here, they're very friendly people, you know, yeah. and um, I, I just love being here. It's a beautiful country, I've traveled a lot here in Vietnam, and I really, really enjoy it. You've been living here for a very, very long time. The people around here often consider you as the head of the village. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so could you share a little bit about that story? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's sure. really interesting. About the affection and the bond um, between you and the pe Vietnamese people living around. Well, I've been living here, uh, like I said, for more than 20 years now. Um, most of the Vietnamese around here, they, they know me. Yeah. They know that I've been here for a long time. And they say I'm like the mayor of uh, Te Ho, <laughs> yeah? which uh, I think is kind of funny. You know? yeah. And it's, it's nice. It shows the closeness that we have also, the friendship yes. that we have. You know? That they would trust me to be their mayor of, of <laughs> <laughs> Te Ho, of this area. Um, yeah. I've been like living here a long time so you get to know a lot of people in 20 years yeah, yeah and I have a lot of good friends also Vietnamese friends in, in uh, Ho Chi Minh City yeah. Yeah, so I, I also in Da Nang living in Da Nang also yeah so yeah. yeah so I think that they consider you as a neighbor well you guys would say brother yeah a brother. Oh, yes, yeah. a brother, a brother. in the family. And that, yeah. that's what I love about the Vietnamese because even though it's a best friend, they say brother or oh. sister, you know? Yes. And I think, oh, that's their brother. And then I find out, no, it's just a really good friend. But they say brother, and it, I, I like this. That's I really, really do. Vietnamese. It shows very close, you yeah? know? And with the family, that's what I love also, the, the togetherness of the Vietnamese family. I, I love this. 
you've been doing business in various fields in Vietnam. So I wonder what are the motivation behind the establishment of the Canepa Hanoi? So I actually came on uh, think of doing the Canepa to give something back to the German community. I lived in Germany for 15 years and I speak the language and I did a lot of business with uh, German companies here, uh, German organizations, German embassy. And to give something back to them, I thought I would bring something such as the Kneipe, which is a local pub, village pub, and with food, and also to introduce this to the Vietnamese and other foreigners within Hanoi here. Uh, so I see there are many pictures hanging all the world. Can you share some hidden meanings uh, behind those attractive pictures? When I first opened the Kneipe here, I had nothing hanging on the walls and people started giving me things. And these are all memories that are hanging on my wall here. You know? uh, these tickets have been given to me. Those tickets have been given to me. They've been to these games. Uh, they have a lot of meaning to me you know, because they're from very good friends of mine. And this is from uh, the golf club that I belong to. You know? I belong to a, a red wine golf club here in Hanoi. Um, we have Vietnamese, we have people from all over the world, yeah, uh, Australian and uh, Americans and Europeans and from all over that, that uh, we get together and we play golf, yeah, which is really nice. Um, I have a German flag back here. This is an official German flag that was given to me from a German friend of mine. And this flag has been flown in five different countries around the world. You know? So it has a lot of special meaning for me. You know? And then I have uh, here my certificate for my hole-in-one in golf, which is very special to me. Yeah, yeah so not everyone has one. that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, so it's kind of paying tribute to your beloved one. Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so respectful. <laughs>
Uh, schnitzel is very well liked. This is a popular dish from us. You know? Are there any similarities and differences between uh, the German beer and other kinds of beer of Vietnam that you've been experiencing? Uh, German beer, of course, has a different taste to it, but every beer has a different taste. You know? As we make our own German beer here, we import all of our, our uh, ingredients from Germany. So these, uh, that's what we use, and it is German beer. You know? yeah. so what about other kinds of Vietnamese beer? You, uh, uh, what are your favorites? What are my favorites? I do like Chuk Bak beer. Huh? That's a very good beer. I like that one. So I know that the Knaper always throws German beer festival annually, uh, which is called Oktoberfest. Right. Uh, what does this special event mean to Vietnamese people as well as other foreign community in Vietnam? I think it's a chance to come out and meet other people and uh, enjoy a party with other people, enjoy German food. And uh, we will have our German beer also on, on town. But for those that prefer the Carlsberg or uh, Sapporo beer, we'll have also. Yeah. Um, Yeah, it's just a good time uh, and Celebrate. see what the Germ yeah. German culture is. I mean, we play German uh, Oktoberfest music here. I have a DJ that, that does that. Um, and it's uh, this coming Friday. So, yeah. yeah. This, this coming Friday. Friday. Wow. 18th, of, uh, 18th of October. Yeah, so Friday. I think it will be crazy. <laughs> we'll have a good time. And yeah. have fun. Yeah. The last question. From your point of view, what role does cuisine play in building and connecting people from different cultures, especially uh, between German and Vietnamese culture? People of different cultures gather together in one same mm -hmm. space and then... Turn. Exactly, yes. They come together and talk. Yeah, yeah. No, like exchange things about daily lives and mm. works in different countries. So mm -hmm. that's the way the people of different cultures connect. Right, right. Yeah. Thank you so much for your interesting sharing today. I also hope that your restaurant will uh, contribute to strengthening the relation between Germany and Vietnam in the future. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. It's the end of our stage in Vietnam. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Oktoberfest is the world's largest beer festival held annually in Munich, Germany, attracting millions of visitors from all over the world. This event is not only an opportunity for people to enjoy traditional German beers, but also experiencing its unique culture, cuisine, as well as music. This year's Oktoberfest 2024 is going to be held on October 18 at the Kneipe Hanoi. In the journey of bringing German cuisine to Vietnam, Carl Fei Chai has created a mock, a special highlight, which is the attachment and the love for Vietnam and for Vietnamese culture.